Hello, Dave here. Just going to give you a quick walkthrough of my homemade dump truck. I can tell you that this is something that the manufacturer should actually make. This thing has been handy, and uh, it's so much easier than pulling a cart behind a riding lawnmower. I built this thing probably 25 years ago. I still use it today. Um, the original design, it did have wheels up here and here. So there were four wheels in the back. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll post it. Uh, the problem with it was I welded the spider gears. And when you put a bunch of stuff in the back, you couldn't even turn this thing. And it rode like a tank. So anyway, so it's basically a normal lawnmower from, from this point forward. Okay, so what I did is I just cut off the back of another riding lawnmower and just kind of welded in some rebarb and some angle iron to extend it back. The bed basically pivots right here, which is basically the middle of this span here. So even when it's loaded fully with dirt, you can still dump it. The little latch thing I rigged up here, just some bed frame iron and a little latch. You just unhook the little safety thing here and pull, it, pull this forward and the, the bed will dump. Let me do that real quick. Okay, I got the dump bed fully dumped. At one time, I loaded the uh, bed up with uh, mushroom compost for the uh, garden. So you just hook a, a chain up in, up in here and run it down to here so it can't dump all the way. And that way you can kind of evenly spread it. Came out really handy. The size of the bed was determined at the time we had goats. So I could put two bales of hay laying in the bed, then two more on top, and then two more on top of that to take it to the area where we stored the hay. I welded these little clips on the four corners, so if I really wanted to pile it up high, I could run straps. I will tell you, you can completely fill the back of this thing up with dirt or firewood, and it will move it. I have the little ball mounted right here. Nothing fancy, but that way I can clip my log splitter to it, take the tailgate off. It's just a couple of pull pins, a couple of pull pins, and you can take the tailgate right off. So I could tow the log splitter. If a tree fell in the front of the property, I could put the chainsaw, pull the log splitter, split the wood, and use this to carry it back to my wood storage area. It worked out great. Like I said, I've been using this thing for 25 years. Under here, what I did is where the original hydrostatic drive was located, what I did is I tapped it out so I could put another pulley on top of it. So the drive pulley going from the engine to the first hydro is the same. And then I added an extra pulley. I put a larger pulley on it to give it a little bit more top speed. I added these two pulleys here. They act as an idler pulley. There's an adjustment screw here. So you can tighten this belt up, and then it goes to the hydro that actually has the wheels on it. I had to just extend the linkage back, back when I cut the other back end off of the mower, I made sure it had this bar. So see, that's where the bar goes. So. And then I just extended the frame some. The dump bed itself, if you just pull these pull pins and push this out, you can remove this whole dump bed if you want to use the stock 
little tongue on the back like to pull a fertilizer spreader or something like that. The little lever mechanism to lock in the uh, dump bed from dumping, just some uh, rebarb that I made into a T-bar, and it just slides in and out of another piece of bed frame iron right there, and that's another piece of bed frame iron that slides in and out. And then I put this piece of bed frame iron here so this part of the dump bed will rest on it and stop it from side shifting. The bed itself is basically constructed out of bed frame irons that I have found on the side of the road. Just kind of weld them all together, found a little piece of pipe, found a little pins to hold the tailgate in. The uh, bottom of the, the bed is uh, two by four pressure treated. The sides, I did that with uh, marine plywood. And I found the easiest way to attach it was to take, I, I bought a piece of threaded rod and I just cut them to length, welded them to the bed frame iron, and then it just bolted, bolted it all in. So it's all marine plywood pressure treated deck on the bottom like I said I probably built this thing 25 years ago and I still use it to this day it's very handy and in all reality I removed the deck but technically the deck can be on there I just don't need it to mow lawns anymore I just want to haul stuff but this thing has been a awesome machine and I really think somebody should mass produce them. I think they would sell. Everybody who sees it thinks it's a great idea. Oh, there's my beard. I wondered where I put that. But anyway, thanks for watching.